Hello everyone, in this class we are going to discuss about the consignment process in SAP MM. What is this consignment is all about and why the vendor uh, means uh, purchasing organizations will going to have the consignment with the vendors. The consignment is a special procurement in SAP MM where vendor keeps the material within the company but the owner of the material will be vendor until and unless the material will be used by the company. In this process the con consignment agreement will be made between the company and the vendor. Company should pay the vendor before issuing the material to the production. That is how the consignment process will going to take place. Before, we, uh, without wasting any time, we'll just uh, quickly move and uh, see how the consignment will going to work. But uh, we'll just see what are the different steps involved in the consignment. Okay, steps. We'll create a consignment material and uh, next thing we'll going to create a vendor for the consignment third thing will be creating the create a PIR that is purchase info record for the consignment for consignment in the PIR we'll be getting the info categories there you need to select the consignment very very important step next thing we'll going to create the PO create PO here we need to take item, item category item category as K that is for the consignment and next we'll going to create the GR create GR once we'll going to create the GR just look at the stock where the stock is residing means we'll going to see the stock overview after uh, going through the stock overview the materials are residing at the company but the owner of the uh, materials will be vendor only so what we need to do is we need to take the materials from the consignment to our own stock that time we'll going to do it through the MB1B transaction that is nothing but the transfer posting of the consignment materials transfer posting of consignment materials we'll going to do it through the MB1B transaction next at the end we'll going to see again stock overview after that we'll going to do the payment as in the standard process the payment will be done by the way invoice receipt but in the consignment we'll going to do the payment through the MRKO through this MRKO we'll going to do the payment so these are the different steps which will going to uh, take uh, or which will going to conduct while creating the consignment process and I'll just quickly jump into the SAP screen and we'll start doing the consignment process now first thing I will create the material I'll just go to MM01 and now I'll going to create the raw material only LT01 raw material I'll take and click enter here I'll create one material for this LT01 plant and LT01 storage location Mine is like I'll take consignment material and I'll quickly create this material. We'll not going to discuss much on this because I'm not discussing on the material master now. Here I have created the material. Next I'll create the vendor now slash n xk01. I'll say this is the consignment vendor. Again I'll going to create this vendor quickly without uh, discussing anything here here I have created the vendor as well 2081 is my vendor and I have the material now we will going to create the PIR for this for PIR we need to go to ME11 just go to ME11 and I got the vendor as well as the material over here just click enter for this but before clicking enter just see this info category we need to select consignment without selecting this consignment you cannot able to create the consignment PIR we need to create this PIR for the consignment process so that is why in the info category this step is really really important just click enter here and uh, if you want you just maintain some standard quantity and the price of the material I'll going to maintain like 70 rupees per material click enter just I have created the PIR now after this what we will going to do we will going to quickly create the PO slash n ME21N 
while creating the PO I'll just provide the vendor eight one is the vendor here and uh, material is seven the quantity I'll going to provide thousand number plant is LT01 and storage location is LT01 but here I need to give the item category as K because K is for consignment I have selected this and give the header details like your organization details LT01 I'll take and this one is triple zero click enter see it is not asking any price over here because the price will be taken from the PIR only whenever you will be creating the PIR the price will going to take from there uh, here this uh, maintaining up of the key is really important while creating this PO now what I will do I will just check this PO before that I will going to set the message here message output I have created this in the output determination I will going to show you whenever we will be doing the output determination so check it now check for this PO so no messages are issued during the check we will just save this we have created the purchase order for the consignment material and the consignment vendor one thing I need to do it in the PIR that I will just go to ME 12 here I want to change something for this PIR just I need to give my tax code here tax code giving this tax code is uh, one more important thing because in the PO we cannot able to provide the tax code while creating the consignment PO so it is better to give the tax code in the PIR and save it now I have created the PO uh, then we will going to do the GR MIGO is for GR means that is the goods receipt what I am doing here I will just say goods receipt for the PO whatever the PO we have just now created we have our PO here I will just provide the PO and click enter once I will going to click enter here is the entire details of the material what material I am buying and uh, how material is coming to us it is coming through 101 moment type we will check whether any accounting entries will going to hit after this GR ok I will just say item ok here at the downside and I will check this the document is ok here and I will just post this GR the GR is posted I will go to display GR and I will see this material document in the info document go to the FI documents see no subsequent documents found in the accounting once you will going to click on the FI documents earlier we used to see some accounting entries but here you will not going to find any accounting entries because after the goods receipt no accounting entries will going to hit in the consignment uh, and their important point we should tell it in the interview then what we will do we will check the stock overview slash n mmbe click enter this is our material in the plant and the storage location I will just execute this here you can able to see whatever the goods receipt you have done the entire material is lying at the vendor consignment means the owner of the materials will be vendor only here how we will going to take these materials into our um, uh, unrestricted use here I have given the steps right the I uh, we have created until this means we have seen the stock overview also now we need to transfer uh, posting the, of the consignment materials we have to take this step how we will going to do the transfer posting of the consignment uh, uh, materials we will just go through the MB 1B transaction click enter here the moment type for the consignment is 411K we, here you can uh, just click on 411 for transfer posting storage location then you can put as a special character K or else you can directly select this 411K the K will be going to come over here here it is 411 sorry I have chosen 412 but it will be 411 now I'll click enter here and what is my material I need to provide my material uh, okay 7 this is my material here and quantity how much I want to consume now I'll just say 100 materials I'll be taking inside and who is the vendor vendor is 2008081 is the vendor and which storage location what is the receiving storage location that is LT01 I'll just click enter here okay the data whatever I have given it is taken 
and now I'll just save this. See, document is posted. Uh, you can see this document in MB03. If you go to slash n MB03, you can able to see this document. Just uh, look at this document here, and you can check the accounting documents here. In the accounting documents, these two accounting entries are hitting. Uh, we'll going to get the accounting entries are. One is the BSX, okay, that is nothing but the inventory account. I'll just uh, type it over here for your reference. Accounting entries, I'll say, uh, after transfer posting. After transfer posting, we're going to get as a BSX is one uh, accounting entries or uh, transaction which will going to hit. That is nothing but the uh, inventory account of the materials. Inventory account. And here, this will going to get debit. And... Uh, K1 is the K1 is nothing but the consignment liabilities account which will going to get credit. The amount will going to debit from the BSX transaction key and it will going to credit to the consignment liabilities account. Uh, once we'll going to do this transaction, okay, the money is residing in the KON that is nothing but the consignment liabilities. And now we have seen this. I'll just go back and we'll check the stock overview i'll just go here and refresh this screen refresh it now you can see whatever the hundred materials we have done the transfer posting no they are appearing in our unrestricted use stock i what i will do now we'll just do the mrko here we'll not be doing the invoice receipt uh, because there is no materials uh, from the gr so we are taking the materials from the transfer posting what I will do I'll just create the MRKO transaction slash n MRKO what is this MRKO transaction it is nothing but or it is used to settle consignment liabilities here payment can be made online to the vendor whatever the company code or plant vendor details should be entered or uh, to be entered in the consignment pipeline settlement screen then item category should be selected so what we'll do we have come to the consignment or the pipeline settlement screen here so the company is provided if you want to go through the vendor you can provide this or the plant anything you can uh, just provide it but we are doing for the consignment right so i'll just untick the pipeline and here before settlement of the uh, consignment what i'll do i'll just display these things i'll just execute this part here you can see okay this is the vendor and uh, this is our material document through that we are settling this account it is uh, it is saying the status is not as settled I'll just go back and I'll click on this right icon as a settle and execute this now you can uh, see this okay here consignment settlement okay here only thing is that no uh, message was found uh, this one we need to do it in the output determination anyway we'll going to discuss uh, about the output determination now that time we can able to get this but all these things now the consignment settled okay the whatever the consignment we have done that is payment is settled now so this is what uh, it is all about the consignment settlement okay but uh, what are the different accounting entries which will going to get after the payment or the MRKO we can say after payment accounting entries will be we'll going to get a three different accounting entries one thing is the kbs that is nothing but vendor account vendor account the vendor account will going to get credit here and from where uh, the amount will going to debit from kon because after the transfer posting amount which is debiting debited from the bsx it is now credited to the kon but af after payment no the kbs will going to get credit and KON will going to get debit that is nothing but a consignment liability that will going to get debit copy and paste it here this will going to get debit and uh, another thing if you are maintaining some taxes and all that uh, CGST or IGST these taxes will going to get debit from your end so this is what it is all about the consignment process in the SAP MM and these are the different accounting entries and most of the time in interviews they will definitely ask this accounting entries and all okay you need to just go through these accounting entries thanks for watching my video please like share subscribe